How much would a wedding ring cost? Um, I want my wedding ring to be from Tiffany & Co. So I want it to be like 20000 30000 That's pretty good. What about you? Um, to be honest, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. Like, Give me a price. 1000 1000 is pretty valid. What about you? You see, I'm trying to make money when I'm older. So like, they got to they gotta match my energy. So like, like 25 25 Ooh. What about so you? today I saw a TikTok and I saw one that I liked and it was 16K. But if I love you, I'll take anything. I'll take any Aww. any size ring. Even a ring pop. Even a ring pop. Even a ring pop. You're a real one. You're a real one. What about you? Well, I wouldn't take a ring pop. I want either Tiffany Co., Cartier, <laughs> anything expensive where you could see like a mile away. 10 miles away. 20 miles away. 100. <laughs> Has anybody else been in a relationship where they thought they were being cheated on? Okay. Some of you can't say anything because you're like, I'm with them right now. <laughs> Sometimes guys are like, ooh, women lie too. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we're better at it though. <laughs> women are better liars, right? Because we start small. We have sweet lies, lies that keep the relationship together, you know? Stuff like, oh my God, it's so big. And, um,. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and you're the first one I ever let do that. You know, stuff like that. And, we, and if we go to Africa, we're talking about women. That's, now it's paradise. Because mm -hmm. you're yeah. not just dealing with beauty. You're also dealing with a different mentality. Like, <laughs> women treat you like a the man. king you are. Like a king. Uh -huh. They're not competing with you. They're not fighting for Whoa. equality. Because they understand that men and women could never be equal. They understand their roles. You know? To that you say? Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> you you me? sucker! I'm not, Yo, I'm gonna go and put some I money got, in that I, jar. I, go I, ahead. I, I, I have so, some money going to the side for my <laughs> Africa fund. When I, so when I could get my shit over go, there. I'm gonna go bless when the I jar get over early. There. I'm gonna call you a bunch today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna put, he put him the over there early. early, yo. This guy. No, I mean, that's just, I mean, that's no, a matter. No, no, it's it's a matter you. of understanding. How are those roles, roles defined there? The roles are very defined. It's very clean. Like here, even if you say the word role to a woman here, they get offended. Man. That's true. Just use the role. Yo, play your role, let me play mine. Role? What the fuck you mean, play my mm -hmm. role? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like everybody has a role there's infrastructure to life and if a woman doesn't okay. understand her position and the role that she play in life everybody's confused how can a man and a woman play the same exact role where's the balance right so in Africa it's very clear the woman plays the role of a woman okay God installed love emotions compassion and compassion in a woman because as a motherly figure those things have to be instilled. Mm -hmm. Nurturing. Right. This right. is why women catch so much feeling so quick. This is why they can endure so much pain and still be there. That loyalty, all that comes with them naturally. They think that they we treat them it. like shit. No, I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> I was about to say, they, they, they everybody, this is Mr. Akon. Right. And, and say it, and Antoine agrees. No, but guys, at the end of the day, um, right? I agree. At the end of the day, it's true. So I'm going to give you a little pushback. Now the man's I'm going to give him some too. I'm going to give you a pushback. All right. So as a woman, her role is to support the man. I agree. The man, we are the kings and the divine of this universe. They, a woman can never compare to the man. They have to understand that here in America. The woman don't create life. They support the creation of life. Damn, somebody just broke that down. The yes. man is yes. who create life. Every time I say it, they laugh at me. Man, we're gods. We the ones that create life. No, to women, I'm saying this conversation. Right. I just said it to you so, the other day. And let, me, let me give you an, uh, an example of the science of it. A man right now can create life without a woman, but a woman can't create life without a man. If I wanted to create life right now without a woman, I would just shoot my sperm, put it in an incubator, and just mm, give it nine months, even maybe less with today's science. And a, a baby will be born. A woman can't do that. So men, we are the creators of life in actuality.
where you guys get so mad when women are happy with men. It's like one of the worst case versions of men. I'm gonna need all the committed people in committed relationships who actually like their partner to report to this post. I have been married for nine years going on 10. And when I tell you, I mean no disrespect because this is not all of y'all, but this is some of y'all. My wife and I could be at Target, just shopping around, minding our own business, got our son with us, looking at candles. We have received some of the most dirtiest looks from women. Now, mind you, this is not all of y'all before y'all hop in my comments. I've had men who've seen me out with my family, and if they don't pull me to the side, they give me a fist up and may say something like, man, I can't wait to be like that with my family, bro. I've had older men pull me to the side and say, brother, hold on to your family. But the women that give us dirty looks treat us bad whether they work there or not. We was walking down the aisle one day and asked this young lady who gave us a dirty look, she was there with her children, to please move aside so we can get down the aisle. She act like she ain't in his. We really didn't understand the dirty looks until we talked to one of our older friends who is an amazing lady who happens to be single. She owns her own clothing store and we went into her shop to buy a few things and we was just chatting it up talking about the dirty looks that some women give us. And her explanation was, they want what you got. Now, Danielle will tell y'all, I'm the type of person I hate immediately saying that somebody is jealous or envious of me because I ain't that great. But the way she broke it down was, sometimes women can get obsessed with comparing themselves to each other. And in some of their minds, not all, they say, I look better than her. How come she gets to be happy or at least look like she's happy and I'm not? I was speechless. I try not to get on the subject about women and how they feel or anything. I let another woman explain it. Now, whether she's wrong or right, I ain't here for that. I'm just here to ask all of the people in committed relationships, have this ever happened to you? A mistake you learned the hard way that you can now help people to avoid. People do not want to hear about the good things that are happening in your life. Very, and I mean very rarely are people actually happy for you. I know you don't mean any harm and you're just happy and excited to talk about it, but you have to understand, other people's insecurities are going to make them feel invalidated by your success. And the way that they process that feeling is to hate your guts. Sometimes they'll go as far as to try to get in your way or tear you down. Every single time that I have forgotten this fact, I have reaped the consequences of that mistake. People want to see you doing good, but they don't want to feel like you're doing better than them. And if they're doing better than you, they don't want you to catch up.